Morning, everyone. Uh, it's Thursday, uh, the 20th, 2022. Uh, a little update on my uh, Solomon Speed Cross 6. Also, there's the Spike Cross 5s on the left there, the orangish uh, red pair. So that's them. You can see the spikes in there. Just wanted to give you a little update because I'm uh, getting more information and uh, wear is starting to really happen here. So once again, I've had these shoes for about, well, I've been wearing Speed Cross 5s and uh, Solomon Speed Cross 5s for uh, probably last five years. And of course, they just released the uh, Speed Cross 6 uh, <clears throat> this year. And I finally got a pair because they're hard to come by. I had to call Solomon Direct and uh, order online from them and they at that time they only had like eight pair left in my size even from them so uh yeah it's been trying so i've been wearing the fives and still have the uh old pair and it's really uh they need to be thrown out at this point but i'm holding on to them for uh some reason <laughs> but anyhow so some of the um Issues uh, that I have uh, with the shoes. Overall, the waterproof is excellent across the series of uh, five, sixes. Uh, the comfort, the fits, uh, very good in my opinion. Uh, when I first got the Speed Crosses years ago or looked at Solomon's shoes, they tend to run really small and they didn't really fit my feet, but nowadays they seem to be running pretty standard size sizing and uh, so I find a good fit for me personally um, so I like that like I said the waterproof I think is excellent I would give it a uh, 9 or 10 out of 10 I would give the fit for me a 9 or 10 out of 10 um, we'll get into some of the negatives the styling also I think is very uh, attractive Here's a new pair uh, that's the same as the blue uh, in the middle there. Them both the same. One is brand new on the right. Never used in the other one there in the middle. I've got about 350 miles on them. Uh, walking, running, trail running, trail uh, road, a little road running. I do a little bit of everything, uh, working in, in landscaping with them. So they're highly used. Um, typically, I can get three months to a year out of a shoe. <clears throat> so that's that's that. So that's what they look like new. So some of the problems I'm having or I've always kind of had with the Solomon shoes. I'm not super crazy about their lacing system. Yes, it's quick and somewhat convenient. But it also... Uh, you know, can uh, come a little loose or this shock cord here. Like I said, I'm in the woods or working uh, out in the landscape and t uh, ticks and twigs and whatever can get hooked on that and pulls on it and often does. I would say almost every ri uh, run or walk uh, during the day at some point that gets a uh, stick or something pulled on it and comes out and is flip flopping around and so I really like these, I call them shock cords. I usually switch to them and uh, I'm about out. To, I only have a green one here. So they'll be going on the shoes. Um, I find them really make it nice. I've never had an issue with them. Highly adjustable. I just use a little shoehorn and never have to, uh, pretty much you get them sensed up and on your shoe. Uh, they're elastic. Uh, I call them, you know, elastic shock cords. So highly recommend them. Them are usually on all my shoes. Um, I've got them on the old pair. I'll walk over here and grab the old pair. Pardon the mess here. So here, here they are actually on a shoe. So that's what I'm talking about. So I really don't do anything in the morning. I just put my feet in, either put my finger or shoehorn 
and slip them on. They're already adjusted and uh, ready to go. So there's no pulling of the cord. There's nothing much to really get snagged on because there's uh, not an excessive amount of cord. So that's one of my issues with Solomon shoes is that the other issue we can look at, and this uh, old pair illustrates it quite well as well. This shoe is uh, six months old. That's a Speed Cross 5. This shoe is six weeks old with about 350 miles. Uh, trying to zoom in so you can see I'm down. Here's a new pair. Here's the brand new pair. So you can see within about six weeks time, I'm at least 50% or less tread. So that tells me at the current wear rate that uh, this is going to be gone within, again, that's six months. So sometime around the three to six month period, I'm not going to have any uh, thread uh, treads left on the shoe. So, and then it gets back to the uh, purpose of getting the shoe. And what I like is the uh, they have excellent traction when new in most conditions, rocks, wet. Do a very good job. I just wish that they would wear better. Um, so either more deeper tread, more of it or a little bit slightly different uh, rubber compound. So that's one of my, that's probably my number one uh, gripe with the Speed Cross series, the fives and sixes. Like I said, this is a six. This is a review of the sixes, but I do have a couple Speed Cross and Spike Cross fives there. Now what I found with the Spike Cross, their tread pattern and it seems to be a little closer together and uh, it seems like they're wearing a uh, putting a uh, different compound as well in there and I find it excellent traction and also I'm getting twice the mileage on these than I do on the uh, this on on these fives and also on these sixes so that's my uh, pet, you know, number one complaint is the wear, and I wish they would uh, do more to address it. Different rubber compound, bigger, more bold, a uh, little taller or something, but I just find uh, a shoe that is less than two months old, and I'm trying to get in there. And it looks like that. So, and these shoes aren't cheap. I paid pretty much full price for these at 160 roughly dollars. Here it is new. So, excellent, great traction, but excessive wear. Six weeks old. And it's, uh, I would say that's over 50%. 50% would be generous. Uh, so it's a, a little bit past 50%. Here's the other one, just in case you're curious. They're, it's fairly similar, too. So I have a little different stride or something, so you can see where <clears throat> I guess I'm walking on the front of my shoe uh, more. Pardon my shaking there. I have Parkinson's in case anybody doesn't know that by now. Um, so that's it. Uh, so I wish they would uh, do something different with their lacing. They probably won't, but I, th I think it's quick and it's convenient. But I find for me personally, it comes loose pretty much every one, sh you know, not both shoes every time, but course of a day a four to eight hour day of me running or walking or hiking one of them's come a little loose or or it's been pulled out because I try to tuck these in 
but it gets pulled out and then a stick or it's, I'm kind of tripping over it because it's quite long. When you get these cinched up, you have uh, that much cord. So you have, uh, I would say four or five inches, it depends on the size of your shoe, of you have to hide that away somewhere, or stick it in somewhere. And I just find that that's the kind of the problem. It's kind of excessive where on these shock cords here, I don't even run this no more. I just cut a clip them way off and don't run this at all. And it's, it's elastic. So I'll try to demo it, but yeah. So you can see it just really fits the foot once you get it adjusted and for your comfort level. So uh, that's my preference in all my shoes, and I, that's uh, why they're on these. That's my, again, it's my uh, olive green spike, uh, speed cross fives. These are the spike cross. We'll talk a little bit about them. I find the uh, outer, uh, the looks of them excellent. I find the durability of this shoe excellent. The wear of the sole, for some reason, is about twice as good as these. Uh, the traction, to me, is on par. And in the snow and ice, if you uh, love to get out in the winter time, I highly recommend them. They're one of the best. I haven't used a great variety of shoes, but they're far superior to these uh, other shoes in the... Uh, snow and ice. I've been out during an ice storm, running down the road, across the frozen lake. Uh, they just work very well. Um, I won't say that you can't slip and fall, but they, uh, they don't eliminate it, but they come darn close. So an excellent shoe. These I've had, I only wear them in the winter because they're spiked. Um, I did pull out a pair uh, of, because I was desperate to have a pair of shoes to wear because I couldn't get any. And I pulled out the spikes and warm without the spikes for a year just to make them more usable. And they still lasted over a year. Uh, this is the, going to be the second year winter season coming up here uh, for these shoes. So you can see after last uh, winter of wearing these approximately two or three months. Uh, just an excellent shape. Just uh, no, uh, almost no wear on the soles and the outer surface. And again, the watt, the fits are great, uh, excellent. Nine out of 10. And uh, the waterproof is also excellent on them. But so. So there you have it. That's my time. I uh, just wanted to thank everybody for uh, subscribing and liking the videos. It really uh, helps me and Rosie out. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. Continue to do so uh, to support the channel because uh, that's what we're here for is to uh, share information and in some cases entertain and and then I'll in uh, some cases get uh, information and uh, and learn from you guys all. So if you have any comments or anything you want to share, please feel free. We welcome that. Uh, and this is all, not just our channel. It's, uh, or my channel or Rosie's, it's ours as a, uh, group. So we appreciate that all. So once again, Solomon, maybe consider improving your lacing system and doing something about the wear. I find that kind of excessive. $160 shoe, six weeks old. Uh, now, if you're a paid athlete, athlete or sponsored athlete and you get your shoes greatly discounted or free, I just think $160 shoe. And really, if I was, uh, you know, when trying to win a race, uh, this shoe would almost be unacceptable at this. I would have to put on a brand new pair after two months of use. So that's pretty expensive in my opinion for a $160 shoe to get the maximum performance. 
I would be have to have six pair of these minimally every year, maybe 12, to compete at a, a very high level if you wanted the maximum performance out of your shoe. So uh, I just think that's a lot of money for a shoe. Uh, now, if it wore like the Spike Cross Sixes, that would be great. Well, that's my time. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.